siku hiyo. Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about how to introduce or talk about oneself in Yoruba language. Bi a se nsoro ni para ni ni ede Yoruba. Bi a se is how we or how to sorrow is talk nipa is about araini is oneself ni is in a day it is language and yoruba is yoruba so ni a day yoruba in yoruba language the first thing that you would want to mention when you're introducing yourself would of course be your name uh so if you want to ask so what someone's name is if the person happens to be younger than you or the person happens to be your age mate you would say kinyorukoe that is if you're engaging in a direct uh, conversation with them kinyorukoe what is your name okay so if the person happens to be older than you and it's still a direct conversation they they are older than you and you're both conscious that of course one of us has to be older so maybe someone that is old enough to be your elder sister or elder sibling or even a parent you would say kinyoru konyi ni is uh, the pronoun that you would use for like to show that you're respectful instead of kinyorukwe so kinyorukwe ni would be for someone that is older than you um that is older than you kinyorukwe ni what is your name it means the same thing but the pronoun would change or if it is more than one person that you're engaged in a direct conversation with it would be kinyorukwe so even if there are two people and those two people are younger than you it would be kinyorukonyi if it is one person that is older than you and another person that is younger than you it would still be kini orukonyi or kilorukonyi um it's it's uh the the plural pronoun if you watch my video on pronouns you would understand uh this better that the pronoun has to change depending on whether the person is older than you or whether you are addressing or talking about more than one person so kinyorukonyi what is your name if uh, you're asking someone someone else uh, and you're saying and you want to you you're, you're saying what is her name or what is their name you know you're not you're not asking for the name of the person you're talking to you're asking them to tell you it would be kinyorukonwo what is their name so you have to see that video on pronouns on singular pronouns and plural pronouns to understand better so kini yeah i wanted to mention another thing kin ki lorukoe can be another way of asking as well it would be a conjunction of the ni and the oruko ki lorukoe ki lorukoe instead of ki ni orukoe that's another way to to write it so you're combining the ni and oruko and you're forming ki lorukoe loruko loruko in english there's a we say my name is that my name is dash so oruko mini dash so oruko mini yetunde oruko mini ronke oruko mini betty oruko mini veronica my name is dash so oruko mini oruko mini whatever your name is we in english we also say dash is my name so in yoruba we could also say dash ni oruko mi so you could say ronke ni oruko mi yetunde ni oruko mi john ni oruko mi femi ni oruko mi whatever your name is ni oruko mi is my name another way of saying what your name is and most especially 
a nickname is you know people say dash is what they call me so it might not be your name it would be like a nickname or an an alias that people call you so let's say your name is fella and people call you baba 70 for short or as a nickname or or something it would be dash ni woman me dash is what they call me so in that case it would be baba 70 ni woman me they call me baba 70 or baba 70 is what they call me or you could say woman me ni dash so they call me baba 70 so instead of dash ni woman me would be woman pe me ni dash um woman pe me ni baba 70 woman pe me or baba 70 ni woman pe me dash is what they call me or they call me dash also if you want to say dash is what i answer to let's say, it could be your name it could be your nickname that's why this style is good people that have nicknames that don't often say what your real names i would say would often say dash ni woman pe me o woman pe me ni dash dash bean whatever their nickname is another way of saying it is dash ni monje dash is what i answer to so in so um let's say there's the I don't know actually it could be a name or a nickname so dash ni monje ronke ni monje uh baba 70 ni monje whatever name you answer to whether it's a name or a nickname is what you would replace with the dash dash ni monje or monje dash so monje ronke monje uh beauty monje whatever name you you uh you have or you you people call you is what what sorry whatever name you answer to so um if you want to say monje dash it, it, it might not be whatever name you mentioned might not be your first name so i so oh i apart from dash is what i answer to as the meaning of dash in monje it could also be I have dash name or dash name is what I bear. This name is what I bear. So Monje dash, let's say, uh, for example, my name is Ronke. That's my first name, but I also bear Ola. It's uh, not uncommon for people in Nigeria and especially in the all of Africa to give their children like multiple names. So I bear Ola as well. So if so is so when I say dash ni monje, dash is what I answer to. I answer to Ronke. But I also bear Toby. I would say Monje Dash. So Monje Toby Monje whatever. It could mean I answer to Toby or I have the name Toby is amongst uh, my names is one of my names so monje dash would be i bear dash i bear dash whatever the name is so i bear toby i bear ola dash ni mon uh, sorry monje dash i bear toby i bear ola dash ni monje ronke ni monje ronke is what i answer to but i also bear this name monje dash whatever the name is another uh one is age so if you want to ask someone directly what is your age it would be kinyo jori or if it's someone that is older than you or more than one person whether or not they are older than you whether or not each of them or all of them are older than you or younger than you basically the plural the plural pronoun for your would be Kinyo ojori, kinyo jori ni, kinyo jori e, kinyo jori ni, kilo jori e, kilo jori ni. And you could also say ki lojo instead of ni ojoy would be ki lojo. You would replace the ni with an l. 
and it would form one word. So, ki lo jorie. That's another way of saying it. What is your age? Or, or, and if you want to say what is their age, let's say you're asking someone for their, the, the ages of their children or, or someone else, it would be kinyo jori wo or kinyo jorie. If, if, if it's, um, if, it, if the person you're asking, whose age you're asking for, happens to be younger than you and happens to be one person, it would be Kinyo Jorie. Note that it's different from Kinyo Jorie. So the diacritical marks would change. Kinyo Jorie is a lot different from Kinyo Jorie. You're asking someone. For another person's age, can your jewelry is what is your age? Can your jewelry is what is their age, irrespective of their gender? If you're asking for more than one person's age, you would say can your jewelry want? Can your jewelry want? It's like what is their age or what? Sorry, what are their ages? Can your jewelry want? So. If you see my video on pronouns, you would uh, you would know what I'm talking about. Or another way of asking is, "Omodume lonie," or "Omodume lonini." For an adult, you are pretty sure, or at least confident, that you would now know that "ni" is for someone that is older or more than one person, respective of their ages. "Omodume lonie." How old are you? How old are you? So, to answer that, you would say, Omodu dash nini. I am something years old. So, the tricky thing about this one is that you have to, first of all, know the Yoruba numerals, and then you have to know the Yoruba adjectives so th we have the numerals are all called ag eta eri aro fa and so on if you are going to use those words those all called ag those words in a sentence they would often change or if you're going to use them as adjectives to describe something they would often change so for example 10 in Yoruba is Ewa. If I'm going to use it in a sentence, if someone asks me, you know, how many how many pencils are there? And there are 10 pencils. I would not say Ewa pencils. I would say pencils Mewa. So 10 is just Ewa, but when it's, when it's, and even if someone asks me, uh, how many pencils are there? And I want to say 10. You know, ten without saying, oh, there are ten pencils there. It would be mewa, ten. So um, that would could be the only tricky part. If you would say, omodu kon, nimi, omodu kon, nimi. For to say I'm two years old, it would be omodu meji. Is in Yoruba, age is two, but you'd say omodu meji, nimi. If you want to say I'm 10 years old, Omodu me wa, Nini. I'm 12 years old, Omodu me jila, Nini. Now, when you get to the big, uh, not the big ones, but the main, like when you get to 20, the, when you get to the 10, after the first 10, which is Ewa, me wa, Omodu me wa, Nini, where you can often replace the first e with uh, an m when you get to the 20s 30s 40s when you get to the to the tens the way you would say your 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 age would be different so omo instead of saying omo odu in in yoruba ogu is 20 omo do ogu Nini, you wouldn't say it that way. It would sound uh, weird. So you would say, "Omo dash or do nini, omo ogun or do nini." Instead of saying "Omo do ogun nini," 
which is not often said, you would say, Omo Ogu Odu, Nimi, I am 20 years old. Omo Ogbo Odu, Nimi, I am 30. Omo Ogoji Odu, Nimi, I am 40 years old. Omo Adot Odu, Nimi. So when you get to the tens, the way you would say it would be different. Omo Dash Odu, Nimi. Omo the tens. So 20, 30, 40. So I mean, 30, starting from 20. Omo Dash Odu, Nimi, Omo Ogbo Odu, Omo Ogoji Odu, Omo Ogu Odu, Omo Adot Odu and so on and so forth but uh, when it's not the tens when it's like 21 it would be tw- 21 is o kole logo so you would replace the o the first o with an m it would be omodu mo kole logo ni ni o mo kole ni mo kole ni ogu abi o kole ni omo hmm there let's see that would work. Omo oko, oko ni logu. Omo. Actually, it doesn't work. It would be. It would just be omo. Odu mo kole logu. Nimi. So I'm 21. Omo ogu. Omo odu meji le logu. Nimi. I'm 22. Omo odu meta le logu. Nimi. O meta le logu. Nimi. I'm 23. So that would be the only tricky part. When it's the tens, you would uh, say it as I've said. When it's um, when it's whatever is in between the tens, you would say omo do mokoni something nimi. So you have to watch my video on Yoruba numerals as well to know how to uh, how to to deal with that. How to say to say. I mean to know what the numerals are first of all and then know what the usage would be if you have any questions please ask me in the comment section I would reply you another way of saying your age is motikpe omodu dash so motikpe omodu meta motikpe omodu whatever your your age is or like I said motikpe omo ogu odu motikpe omo ogota odu when it's at the tenth, so multiple is I am up to, but, but when it's transliterated, but the translation is I am dash years old. Multiple or more do meji, multiple or more do meta or multiple or more um ogun odu or ogota odu or adota odu or adori odu. The the major tense is it's. Then you will use the second sentence when you're talking about the major tense. So I hope you understand it now. Um, if you have any questions, again, please ask me. Um, and I will reply swiftly. Thank you.